So interesting thought intruded my head earlier today while I was working on this 3080 Ti from Gigabyte. Instead of powering off the computer as I normally do, pressing the power button, I pressed the power button on the keyboard, which put the computer into sleep mode. And then I kind of got annoyed because I hate put computer into sleep mode, I would rather get it completely powered off or reboot if necessary. So then I booted the computer back up without doing anything and everything was working as you would expect. However, um, a thought came to my mind. What if I put the computer into the sleep mode as such? The computer is now in the sleep mode. See right there, it's off. And what if I take the GPU out and I either move it to a different slot or I'm going to ditch the riser and put it in here. Or maybe I need to take it out, remove, you know, maybe change the fuse or whatever, which is exactly what I did just a minute ago. Put it back in as if nothing ever happened. Plug it in as if nothing ever happened. One power cable as if nothing ever happened. Two power cable as if nothing ever happened. And wake it up as if nothing ever happened. Interestingly enough, it wakes up by itself. So I'm a bit skeptical about the timing here. I don't know how dangerous this is, but the computer booted and everything is just the way I left it. The only thing that I noticed that went wrong was the sensors were kind of messed up on the GPU-Z, so I had to restart the GPU-Z. Now the question is, can you, while this thing is in sleep, take this GPU out and put something completely different in there? Would it still work? Wouldn't that be awesome? You wouldn't have to restart your computer ever again. Let's do it. I have 99.9% .9 working 2080 Ti that I upgraded to 22 gigabytes that refuses to run 3D Mark no matter what I do. It runs everything. It'll run Batman, it'll run Superman, it'll run Spider-Man. It just won't run 3D Mark. Why? I don't know. So cable one. See, my only fear at this point is whether or not, see like why does it power on by itself? And does it always do that? See, now it didn't power on by itself, so maybe touch something on the keyboard. Oh, I moved the mouse. Okay, okay, so I gotta be careful. Now let's see what happens. Oh, it rebooted. Okay, oh, that sucks. Well, that's a failed experiment for the day. Well, at least we'll learn something. So the reason why it would turn on is because the mouse had moved. So that's going to be another thing to figure out in the power settings. Now, as for this 2080 Ti, you can run anything. You can run Firmark, you can run Heaven, you can run um, Superposition, which I'll show you in just a second. But it will not run 3D Mark. Don't know why that is. See, this one's running great. It says NVIDIA 2080 Ti, clock, 22 gigabytes of RAM, sensors are working. I'm going to run this one real quick at low settings. Doesn't matter what settings this is. But the moment we're running 3D Mark, it starts to load the game, but it crashes right away. See, there we have it. This one works. Now let's go and run 3D Mark real quick. See what that does. See, there you go. Firmark is working. As soon as it's about to load, it kicks you back to the desktop. See, just like that. Some kind of error, whatever. And I ran every game I have on Steam and they all work except for 3D Mark. Don't know what the deal is. Uh, it's not a 3D Mark issue, I don't think, because I, I tried to, uh, I never had an issue with that before. I don't know, maybe it's a 22 gigabyte or something, or maybe it is 3D Mark issue, but then I tried this card on another computer and I get the exact same result. So I don't know what's going on. If you guys have any idea why this 2080 Ti refuses to work with 3D Mark, I would like to know because I have no idea why it doesn't work. I do not want to deem this 2080 Ti corpse. Not yet anyway. I mean, if it runs old games, but 3D Mark, I mean, oops. I um, don't have to worry about the oopsie because the core is already reballed. You can drop it as many times as you want. See, that's one of the benefits of getting the Quarry Ball, because it makes it shockproof way better than the original uh, Lead Free. So, I don't know. Let me guys know what you think about this in the comment section below, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.